She she absolutely is. She knows offensively and defensively where everybody's supposed to be. We see the freshman Haley Van Litt connecting from long range. But it'll stay with Georgia Tech. Yeah, Dana Evans just didn't have the size to come up with that rebound. Good ball movement by the Yellow Jackets. She's from Florence, South Carolina. Averages almost nine a game. We're tied at three. Evans with the drive and the bank. She also can put it on the floor. Coming out of high school, she was known for her quickness and her scoring. Again, the shot open in the corner. And Loyal McQueen hits two in a row. That's how you break that pressure, isn't it there, Sarah? Was able to get the ball inside. But we see the Yellow Jackets taking advantage of the three-point line. They would like to keep you off balance. Always guessing. We see a little trap here on the perimeter. Nice job by Georgia Tech, though, to find the open player. And oh, they're hitting the boards hard, are the Yellow Jackets. Are. That was that inside out and looked like a little hesitation on the jumper, but not any hesitation by the rebound and the foul. And there again is Dana Evans. Great conference yesterday, press conference with Dana. We'll talk about that tonight and Jeff Walls. God, again, good perimeter. What a great former Cardinal and a terrific person to boot. There's a nice dribble drive. What a block that time. Carter was a key part of her development. We'll talk about some of the things that she and Coach Walls discussed yesterday. That's that outside in. Block inside. Cochran can't get it to go down as she gets that shot rejected. And boy, that's where they like to get it to Cochran too. That was a defensive jam and a beautiful sh shot by Fletcher. It's a good one. The Jackets out to the early lead over the cards. 57% of the shots early here in the game. And has the two point lead. Good feed inside. You don't see that from a lot of freshman post players as they're transitioning to Division I. That is a great point because it's such a big difference when it comes to officiating, but the three-point shot is big tonight for Georgia Tech. Shutting down the Cardinals' transition game. Again, that good movement, taking this one inside. Oh, a terrific job that time of the use of the body. Leah Love, she's a good-looking freshman out of Kansas City. We saw her particular numbers there. Now you go back inside if you're Louisville. Might want to add to Georgia Tech leads the ACC in defense. Little runner with the left hand and got the friendly bounce. It, it is a stark number when you look at it in, in the category the women don't want to be winning in but are, and that's the canceled, <laughs> postponed games. You've got to be flexible if you're going to make it through this season. Don, you mentioned Georgia Tech leading the ACC in scoring defense, and, and we're seeing why. Dana. Dana Evans makes it look easy. Great passer, distributor, um, but she just continues to add layers and layers to her game. Right on cue, Dana. And you know the other thing about it, you forget. You say, let's take a little bit of this action, little pull-up jump. Thought about transferring early. And look what happened now because she stuck it out with Coach Ball and the family. Thank you, Dana. In this matchup between number three Louisville and Georgia Tech, in the ACC, looked like it might have been a little extra step. See a three minute plus drought right now as Georgia Tech trying to change that. Clock running down to eight and they're able to do so. And the aforementioned Dana Evans with the possession now with the left hand off the glass. Oh, it is your night, Dana. Normally would be playing in front of on senior night, but she wants to make sure those that are here get their money's worth. That's true. A good follow-up there. Eden, you name it, but Italy, Italy Spain. Spain. Oh, another that little dribble drive. Spain. And in bracketology, you, you Wake Forest is uh, the first four out. You see right there. Four out. Three of them are ACC teams. Notre Dame, Wake, and North Carolina. That's the things we'll be watching. That's the bracketology. And Georgia Tech almost got it back, but Cardinals able to retain possession. I think Van Lith is going to have some unbelievable numbers by the time she's done. Solid player, particularly for a first-year player in the collegiate level. Well, another incredibly hardworking yeah. player. Smith now two in a row. And 
Georgia Tech able to get some points. And they start with a press defense. Louisville moves it around nicely, got a good look. What a good follow-up rebound. That was a big factor in the win. Louisville missing a lot of layups, but coming up with some big hustle plays. Another big hustle play there by Robinson. All of them are coming back besides Dana, too. Plus a recruiting class. Good second effort that time by Lawtonen. And Evans now the other way. Cooks it up and lays it in. As Louisville will hit the road for the remaining of the regular season. Of course, the ACC Women's Tournament in Greensboro. Something that Kuba is able yeah. to recover quickly Especially from. Especially the conference play coming up. Good break that time by Georgia Tech. This great program in the ACC and across the nation in honor of Kay Yao. Good bounce pass down by the Cardinals that time. That one missed deep in the corner. Good offensive board by Georgia Tech. And now they get the three. Has shot the perimeter, shot well, and that's how the uh, Yellow Jackets started the game, actually, and then started moving inside and out. There's a good look. I tell you what, Dixon is so good with that shot. That's a powerful, that's a difficult shot to defend. There's one from the free throw line. Herrera, the senior out of Warren, Michigan. Great feed in by the Cardinals with the left hand. The basket goes and plus one. Oh, it's, it's getting better. And, I tell you, all the people dealing with that at the oh, universities man. within the ACC are. Well, opens up a 14-point lead now with a minute and change to go here in the third. That time a hard hedge for the double team, but Georgia Tech did not fall for it. Can't throw that bounce pass in a crowd like that. And good defense by Louisville. Just a little bit of an overpass, but good hustle. Oh, second time it'll go. Dixon with the follow-up. Liz has been really solid, but an easy one at the other end for Georgia Tech. Dana Evans knew she had the quickness advantage. Ten points or plus games for the Cardinal record. Most double-digit scoring games yep. in a row. Help her at the next level as well when she goes play in the WNBA. Well, she's got the defensive ability. Coming out of six. Has not allowed her to have the kind of game that she's used to, the Georgia Tech leading scorer. Oh, what a nice pull up. Kiana Smith. Absolutely. <laughs> she had some really talented NC State teams. And a lot of memories from so many people. That's a good offensive possession. It's just tops in the mm. ACC for scoring defense. The Cardinals, on the other hand, averaging 81.5 points per game. The ACC Network Extra. Nice, nice backdoor back How about that? <laughs> <Pedido. laughs> well, go on the defense. That's too easy there. Goes in immediately to Fletcher. Five points now on eight of 19 field goals. Six of six, four rebounds, not bad. Yep, there's a nice dribble drive and a basket. And then you add the solid game you always get from Robinson too. There's a good play inside by Georgia Tech. The Cardinals have four players averaging double digits as Cochran Finishes inside again. Nice job. In women's basketball, particularly if you're a Louisville Cardinal fan, Kono had a little push off. Follow up by Cochran. She gets it. He, he <laughs> was. Of everybody older. Very, very talented. Yep. He, he and I overlapped for three years at Wake. Really good guy. Cardinals are going to dribble it out and they get the win.